You wanna sit mo on my living room flow, play Nintendo with season Nino. Uh. Pick up my phone, say Papa not home. Chill. Sex all night, mad head in the moan. Word. Spin my V, smoke all my weed, tattoo on titty, saying B I G. Yep. Now check it. You wanna be my main squeeze, baby? I do. Don't you? You wanna give me what I need, baby? Uh. Won't you? Picture life as my wife. Just think, full length mink, fat X and O links. Bracelet to match, conversation was all that. Showed you the safe combinations and all that. Guess you could say you's the, the one, one I trusted. trusted. Who would ever think that you, you would spread, spread like, like mustard? mustard? Shit got hot, you sent feds to my spot. Took me to court, try to take all I got. Uh. Another intricate plot, the bitch said I raped her. Damn. Damn. Why she wanna stick me for my paper? My Moschino ho, my Versace hottie. Come, Come to, to find, find out, out, you was fucking everybody. You knew about me, the fake IDs. Uh. Cases in Virginia, bodies in D.C. Sure. Woo wait. Let me tell you something. You ever had a case? Of course you did. Uh, uh, <laughs> Penitentiary piece. Internet, internet. Let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. VH1 should have hired Miss Lissa. They should have to do that biggie trip. Cause I don't know who Alamo is. Like I was. Like did he want pie with ice cream on it? Like. Well, what I found out is I found out that that um, Alamo, the rental car company. Has reached out to Rich Homie Quack uh, about, uh, being, about uh, being an ambassador. Uh, yeah, back it up, Alamo is a company. Yeah. Oh. Well, also, Alamo is. Uh, when you put ice cream on top of your pie, you Alamo. No, that's Alamo. Black people don't pronounce all the letters. Like, we say refrigerator. We don't say refrigerator. So it's Alamo. That, that is true because uh, low key Nas family, whenever they say oil, they say Earl. Exactly. I was like, well, how the fuck they Earl? So he like, wanted to play Nintendo with, and he won Munchie. And you know, I'm Italian, so when she said Earl was frying, I thought like they were, like, you know, whacking somebody and cutting <laughs> them up or something. I was like, who the Earl's? Like, Earl's frying? You know what I mean? Yo, like, that's hilarious. Did you watch the um the th- hip hop? Fr- first of all, overall, I thought it was dope. Right, I really did. I think that like like uh, Dej Wolf was dope. Even, mm-hmm. even little Mama was dope. I love mm-hmm. the outfits. The outfits were dope, right? Mm-hmm. Tiana Taylor killed it. She's the only one that mattered. Killed and Dej Wolf fucked up the words a little bit too, but nobody caught it. But yo, honestly, and this is my whole fucking gripe, especially with VH1. First of all, who's the person? At VH1 that actually sat in a meeting and said, hey, you know what would be a good idea? To get Rich Homie Quan to do this tribute. Yeah. Big. First of all, like, he's not honestly, from New get York. all the way the fuck out of here. And even fast forward, when he apologized, he apologized to New York. That's kind of corny. Biggie wasn't just New York. Right. Biggie was worldwide. Biggie was hip hop. Don't just apologize to New York. But and- he needed to apologize to us specifically because how dare you come to the man's town and honor him like maybe if he was in Atlanta talking that gibberish it would have like you know been a little less like like of a heart like I'm lying it still would have been a problem I can't forgive this motherfucker yeah me neither I'm and lying I'll be honest with you I tweeted so much shit that day and, and the memes and the things everyone else tweeted had me fucking in tears but I'll be honest with you I tweeted that hip hop should be just like sports mm-hmm. just like baseball like something happens you get a 60 day suspension they need to suspend <laughs> that motherfucker like think about it but how long at least, at least, at least sixty to ninety days suspended. Because I'm be honest with you, if you come, like, I heard some, I seen things all over the internet about people said like he didn't know, or don't you shouldn't fault him. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, then he like shouldn't what? do a tribute. I'm not saying that people should have to know big, but right. then don't do a tribute. Don't get up there and do something, you know, because that's just that's just like stepping on the the grave of the late great Frank White. And I'm actually gonna disagree slightly with you i feel like yes you should know biggie like you don't have to know the word for word because i mean even me like i make up my own words a lot of times when i do like these freestyles in in the beginning of the show but like you said don't do a tribute but at the end of the day like he had a dead blank like moment just like after he said alamo he was like oh shoot he lost his head he didn't even know how to pick it back up like that's when you grow make some noise even little kim i love her to death but she had a couple of moments too I think she was trying to save him. That's why and she got caught up in the, in, 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 you know, who knows what they heard in the air when she he got off beat. He got off. He may have fucked up the whole fucking thing. I think he did. I and mean, but honestly, if Little Kim, if she even fucked up the, you know, the but lyrics, but she didn't even know from I, her own lyrics. I give her credit. I give. Her, I, I'll let her pass. Yo, for, for what? Not knowing Biggie or got, not knowing her Biggie own. Biggie shot so many lows in that fucking. Good night. And, 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 you know, listen. <laughs> <laughs> she did a lot of for the culture. You understand? She did a lot for the culture. So you gotta let that pass. But I'll be honest with you, as soon as I seen Rich Homie Khan come out with that tight ass Kooji sweater, Lord I knew him. something was gonna happen. I never seen listen, internet, you wear whatever you like and enjoy it. Right. But if you're gonna wear a tight ass Kooji sweater, man, you just sucking out all the culture of yeah. what it really is. 
you got to get at least, if you're a large, wear extra large. You know, I understand people don't want to be too baggy or too short. I get it. But a Coogee sweat is not meant to be like that. Yeah, because if he would have tried to hail a cab, it, it would have, like, came all the way to, like, his elbow. Like, that's how, like, short that shirt was on him, or his long arms. I just didn't like him. I don't really like him as a as an artist. Like, No, he's not. I, 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 mm, listen, that song he has, the ooh, ah, uh, uh, that's joint. No, that's. I feel like that's the problem with us. We're just accepting... I thought hip hop was about who's the best lyricist. He literally said, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, but it's not. Ha, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we're just like, oh my God, that's a hit. That's not cool. And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, we should expect more from our artists. Like, I want more artistry. I feel like we went from striving for something and having something to stand for to now, like, barely even having any lyrics. And it, when you think about it, him not knowing the song lets us know how serious he doesn't take this well yeah even the freshmen on that double xl cover when they did that freestyle on that radio station the one with the purple dress like i just felt like that was just like a, a knife in my heart because i just felt like wow like at the end of the day we're highlighting people that don't even care about the culture well yeah but it's even more so here's the thing if you're chosen if you're chosen to do something that is a tribute to somebody like biggie why wouldn't you do your homework. Right. Think about it. When he went to do sound check, do you think it sounded like that? He claims he got nervous. Uh, I feel like he was nervous. high. I think he was playing Nintendo with C's and Adderall. Like, Who's I that? feel like a drug. Really? I think that's what he was doing. Like, who would you have picked? Like, I could think of so many other people. Like, even... Mayno. Thank Fabulous. you, because he's from Brooklyn. Like, Fab why? Why? But even, okay, maybe they wanted to go with, like, a younger... Um, um, I would, demographic. I would have liked to see Bernie Sanders. Good night. He, he, he could have done that. I'll be <laughs> honest with you, that would have been dope if he did that. Like, he came out. Imagine that shit. Chris suggested someone. Who was that? Um, Joey, oh, Joey Badass. Badass. Yeah. Okay, Chris, our photographer. Yeah, Chris, he thought that Joey Badass would have been. I feel like anyone with a dollar sign in their name. Mace, Joey Badass, the ASAP Mob. Any of these people would have been like a better mm -hmm. person to choose than Even him. Jada, little C's. How about little C's? Right. Why like, not little C's? Like I just felt like I don't know. I like I love the idea of the tribute. I thought there were some really great parts, but then there were some moments where I was just like, I wish they would have picked somebody better to do like this tribute. Like even the little Kim tribute. Like I feel like. Tiana was the only one that really mattered to me. Like, little, listen, Little Mama, I, I think Little Mama's a great actress, and I do think that she has a lot to offer. But Dej Loaf, like, I wasn't here for her, and I don't think she's a bad artist, and I think she has some really good song. But at the end of the day, like, I just feel like there's so many other females that could have, like, really, even Lady Luck. Now, I know that she's not, like, in the forefront right now, but as a lyricist, or even if you want to, like, pull other people out, I think um, Eve did a great job no, for he, the Missy he, tribute. He did a, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, but her, other than that, why were they not sing, singing Missy songs? Like Even Tiana. Even Tiana really was, to me, the highlight of the night. She and, was. And I, I, love, I love seeing them in the booth, like, you know, seeing Peppa. Salt just sat her ass down. Because like, she's she, a Christian. She can't yeah, be jumping around. She just and, sat her ass down. But yeah. I love seeing, like, yo, Missy and... and, 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 and and Latifa, yo, they were just going word for word, like you know, get up in the pool now, yo. Yeah. Shit, like it it, 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 it was dope to see, and it was dope to see even Michelle Obama, like, right. like, uh, gave them a shout out on on the big screen. It was dope to see all that shit, you know. It's dope to see how far uh, hip hop has came, especially and and then you know, ending the show with you and you know, you and I T Y. Yeah, I think that was really cool. I mean, that was one really question dope. I did have was. I knew Nikki wasn't gonna come because at the end of the day I can't. Well, really Foxy. See. That's who I was wondering. Like, what about Foxy? Like, how come she wasn't one of the people that was being acknowledged? Like, you think Kim was being petty and was like, "I'm not sharing Probably. a stage you, with you this know, bitch," you, or you think they just like overlooked her? This is 2016. You know, people are very emotional these days. God forbid if you say something wrong or if you happen to say like, right tomorrow I could tweet that I don't like red velvet uh, donuts, and somebody will say, "How dare you not like red velvet donuts?" Well, motherfucker, I'm the one who's eating them. So if I'm going to say I don't like them, why the fuck do you care? Right. Well, you know how this world is. People complain about bullshit and people are super sensitive. In 2016, I think we're at an all-time high at emotional status of people right. being sensitive. Internet, uh, go speak to your doctor and get yourself some medicine, boo-boo. Okay? And, uh, you know, so you, you won't be as uh, depressed. But I'll be honest with you, it was dope. Um, you know, only thing I will say that 
the way Tiana handled herself, I feel like they, if, if they ever did like a, a movie about Little Kim, she be would be a great person to be uh, chosen for that. And I'm cool with Tiana. Listen, I know Tiana since she was 16. Oh. I know her mother. And, her uh, mother's a real, like a, yeah. she's like a maverick in this industry. Yeah, like she, yeah, she doesn't play. And uh, you know, I know her for a long time, man. And she's seen my my daughter grow up, and 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 you know, I know the whole camp, and it's been great to see her grow. Right. And I the thing I love about her is that I think all these years, everybody was like kind of like, what does she actually do? Right. And one thing that I think you could say in 2016 is that like no matter what she does, because I think she does a lot of everything, she's talented. And that's all someone should know. Like, if right. someone's talented and they know how to, you know, be a chameleon. You know, she's a crazy dancer. She's a great body rapper. Is, her body is crazy. She had a great cadence. Mm -hmm. She's like, you know what I mean? Like, she's like one of, like, she's like a, a true New York girl. Mm -hmm. So she can, Harlem. Yeah. Cheer. And then she could sing. Yeah, most she's definitely. Triple and, and, and that last album she did, you know, was real dope. That, that was like seven, I think it was called. Um, you know, people fucked with it and it did well. Drink some water. Uh, yeah, I'm drinking water. Okay. I'm drinking sangria, too. No, no, no. What I told you about that, you got to make sure, because I'm doing this for your betterment, and because I know Loki not wants you to drink more water, like... Well, I'll know. be honest with you, she took out a, a, a life insurance, she upped my life insurance. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck you, like, you, you know? I'm like, are you listening to the show that you upped my life insurance? And she went to, like, 250000 I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, you went up there, that's all, that's all I'm worth. So, she, you know... I'm like, yo, honestly, you know, if you up yours, then maybe, you know, I get rid of your ass and I'll collect I'm about to money. say, we about to clip him. But, um...